Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Hultvis because uh, last episode we got up to basically the Gladomir over here and very, very quickly got spooked off. But we're back here at Hultvis because it's actually better for us to be here. We need to go over to four different areas today. So one, two, three, four different areas. And we also have to kill 12 orcs or goblins in the area as well. So we're going to be trying to do that today uh, as well as potentially, hopefully, getting a, you know, one task's worth of items. That'll be really nice for us because uh, we've been stuck on nine for a couple of episodes now. But before we get into that, we do have two things. We have our hobby gift of the day and a little pending alert, which is going to be fun. So I have a 20 virtual experience and a minor potion of power. That's fine. We'll worry about the virtue experience but for now we're okay with that so we have an alert it's actually a piece of mail because uh for those that don't know i've been streaming a little bit more often recently on twitch and i was going through and questing on my main and catching up because this character is my furthest character we're both the same level now 122 but um we have done more quests on here because the plan is to keep everything fresh and new um, and this be you know first impression sort of thing but I was going through Mordor doing the black book because I hadn't yet actually done that and I found out we can actually buy ourselves some weapons for some modes of enchantment now we have been running this sword a level 105 sword for quite a while now which is giving us agility vitality which is fine uh, decent amount of damage I guess uh, but not amazing when you compare it to like you know well, that's not even massively better, but that's also quite far behind in terms of its levels. So uh, this will, at its current max tier, do 592. This is going to do, you know, 120 less than that. But getting on to what we actually said, I have a bit of mail because for, I think, 700 motes of enchantment, I was able to grab this sword here, which does 769 damage to 1,282 damage. So that's doubling our current DPS with that and giving us agility, double the agility, double the vitality almost, and uh, Light of Arendelle, which isn't great, you know, for us now, but it's at least something. So I'm going to detach that item. It was 700 motes of enchantment, so hopefully pretty worth it, and we can deconstruct it, but we can finally switch out that and get 89,000. So right now we're 87,000 without it and 89,060. So we are hopefully relatively close now to getting to 90,000 morale, which is going to be a fun time. So um, that's hopefully just going to help us out a little bit. I was really happy when I actually found out that was a thing because I was worried, you know, we can't buy anything over 105 in skirmish camps. So you can't really do anything there. And um, there is better stuff than it, but you have to complete like a tier 2 raid, for like a 12-man tier 2 raid in order to access it. So this is, I think, the best one that we can actually get. Um, I will have maybe another look and see what there is, but as we're progressing through on that character, we can maybe do a bit more and transfer it through. Um, this was bound to account, so we can actually switch that out to another character if we ever need to, but I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Um, we'll probably just deconstruct it when we get something better, but for now it's 115. It's only, what, now seven levels below us, so at least it's a lot better than, you know, 17 levels below us where we were kind of lacking. And, uh, you know, should be uh, pretty good for us. Hopefully, you know, it's less about the damage it does considering we, um, we for the most part, are worrying about... Um, oh, it's this place. Give us a sec. Let's just take this out. Oh, come on. Um. Oh, he's absorbing. That's not good. Ah, this is very annoying. I'm just going to have to not attack him for a bit. There he is. He's finally gone. Uh, let's take this dude out. And then we need to kind of survey the land a little bit better, I think, because I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, uh, so I had to have a quick phone call there, so sorry about that. But um, yeah, let's basically try and survey this, which is actually what we want to be doing. It doesn't look like we've got a physical item to use to sort of sprinkle. So I'm wondering where we're going to do this. Oh, I didn't mean to... See, these guys are a pain because he's going to start, like, regening morale. I mean, this guy shouldn't. He hasn't got that skill. 
So maybe we need to be particular about what enemies we're actually attacking. Um, whether or not it has that skill or not. I want to, like, ideally just spend a little bit of time jumping around and trying to see it. I think I can get through there, but there is that enemy. Um, just getting a little bit closer. Maybe go around. Be very, very aware of these enemies, but go around maybe and see if I maybe take this guy out. It's that archer that kind of threw me off because I know he comes through that. We could basically a lot of this is just going to be us trying to make sure we don't die. Um, I'm perfectly fine with dying after we've got the f ah. See the flowers there. I think we can probably make that without having to aggro much. Because if we can get up on that rock or around, we can't do anything with this rock. We need to get there, which. Minus this thing, I think is doable. I mean, we've got to kill the orcs anyway, so it doesn't matter if we end up doing that. But I'm going to jump down so we can kind of minimize the amount. Ah, see, it's perfect. We've got this nice little back entrance area that we can get to. I'm going to try and not use Heartseeker. I don't really want to use it if I can help it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the spoiled provisions or anything like that quest. Um, we're purely here just for getting these flowers done. Um, so we should have known this was a thing because we tried coming around this way before because we've actually gone to this bit before. Now where's this flower? There it is. It's kind of fitting because in the last video that would have come out um, before this one would have been the legendary server and we actually had to go to the uh, the Barrow Downs for that which I was actually talking about the uh, the old forest and the flower deeds quest from that. I didn't even think it. I didn't even like put two and two together for that. We can also go to Vegbar, finally, I guess. Because we've got to come over here, so we might as well use that as an excuse to travel across the old ford and go up to Vegbar. We were supposed to do it originally, but then Karasgar sent us, you know, back to Bjorninghus. Let's just get on here and get out. That was really not worth it then, was it? Okay. Well, we'll not worry about it. Let's just get out of here. These guys will give up with us soon enough. As long as we can get that archer. Yeah, the archer's Hopefully going to stop caring about us soon. There we are. Perfect. So, yeah, we'll go to Vegbar. Um, there'll be a quest there, but I'm not sure what it's going to be. I don't know if it is a vector. Um, it wasn't like go to travel to Vegbar and then that's a quest completion. Um, but normally it would be like travel there and then maybe go talk to a dude and then come back to Bjorninghus or go back to this other place and that'll be it. So, Vegbar, Bjorning. But we want to come up to here, the actual location, not the person. So. Yeah, we'll come up here. Just because it opens more space for us. Um, and then other than up this area, we should have hay again. Um, other than the northern bit of the Gladimir, we should then have every single location unlocked uh, in this small area. Um, yeah, so Arid Mithra and stuff up here we don't have, but, um, we just have the Gladimir. And we've apparently got Vegbar already. Um, interesting. Don't really know what's going on then. Vales of the Anu. We have a load of quests. Um... Ah, here we are. To the Wolf Dens. Literally, that's the quest we were after. We just want to talk to you and get this quest done. Apparently, we've already got the Stable Master, but I just want to make sure. Uh, talk to you. So, yeah. Apparently, I've already got it. And apparently, Hrimbarg, we can't go to, but we can go Swift Travel. Okay. Um... I just want to see what's going on with this. We're not going to worry too much about it. We are focusing on this quest, but... Oh, you're an ally to my side. You actually could be useful. When you have these guys here, and they actually have, like, you know, three quarters of a million morale and hopefully a decent amount of XP, or a decent amount of damage, 
if we can summon them, in theory, they should be able to help us damage. I, they only, they'll only help if we get damaged. So if we attack but don't get a hit, they're not going to help. They're not going to go out and aggro something. But um, as far as I'm aware, uh, but if we attack, get hit, they should help us, which means we actually have a little bit of an extra damage um, output, which is going to be nice. So maybe for these other ones, it might help us a little bit. So we'll see how it goes, how we uh, need to do things. But we'll jump over here, dismount, and then they're going to help. This flower is here. I'm also going to try and get that backpack because we want to try and get as many of those sort of backpacks, corpses, anything like that, because there is that small chance of getting um, what we need in terms of like Dwaro Gleam Shards. Um, it is a very small chance, but it's still a chance. So we've got Dwyer Gleams, Chunks of Iron Fold Scarn, and Iron Fold Scarn uh, Sealed Wax. So at least something. Crafting resources are always nice. That was at least really easy. I want to see you count. So basically, I just want to see if you damage me, can you help? And if so, how much damage are you going to do? How much damage? 8,000. Okay, cool. So it's worth just picking up, you know, picking her up. Have an edge just to help, and then we'll eventually get that quest complete. I did this in Mordor at some point on my main, where there was a similar thing where you could just um, bring a, a ally along with you, and he would help. And actually, it was really useful. It helped me while I was kind of struggling. Uh, not that we're struggling too much, but it's going to help us get through things a little bit quicker. And I didn't mean to use that. Alright. At least, you know, we're getting something out of this. Even if we're on fire. We actually took a decent chunk of damage. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Or are these guys just that strong? Gotta be careful. We actually took a decent chunk of damage there. I kind of want to see what's going on. Um, scored a minor thrown... A hit with a minor thrown axe for 5,000. So, I think it's just a case of they were doing a lot of damage... Uh, to us, which is a little bit scary. So, at least we don't have to worry about that. We'll go down to the Gladden Fields, then go down to here. Here I'm a little bit worried about, but having um, a helper with us might make things a little bit easier. Because I remember we went down there. That was before we had all these quests, and we were like struggling with those anyway. So we should be maybe okay, but it's just one of those things where you've got like five enemies potentially that are going to be attacking us, and um, you know, it's... we've got decent damage output and decent morale and everything it's just a, whether or not we can you know tank five enemies worth of attacks um enough to dwindle them down and get to you know four enemies and then hold off of that and then three enemies and such so obviously having blood arrow is going to be great because it's 20 second cooldown so hopefully we can get through enough to get to level like the 20 seconds and then start doing the same and for the extra 10 seconds after oh no it's not that it's what was the other one I know, have they changed Blood Arrow? Restores 10% of maximum morale. Didn't it, like, do 2% after the fact? Or am I misremembering a different skill? Has that changed? Was that changed in an update since I last recorded? Oh, no. Apparently, just while you're on your steed, it thinks differently to how it actually is. There are no enemies here. Well, there are, but there aren't. Right, can I summon you quickly? I just want to... I just want a little bit of help. This one up. Where are you? I don't know. We'll be fine. Maybe we can't, like, take a certain distance? We'll see. We'll try and summon again after this. Annoyingly, we're on the side that doesn't have any of the... Uh, the lootables, so kind of sucks, but let's try and summon again. Yeah, how come you didn't come the first time, eh? We do have poison, so let's get rid of that because it's going to be annoying. Should we try and get through here and maybe see? Are you not going to... Okay, maybe we just can't go a certain distance because she's instantly despawning. I'm going to go through here. 
try and get a corpse? No, okay. Unfortunately not. It's a bit weird, unfortunate, but... Doesn't matter too much. Someone may have already come through or something. We'll just run past and we won't really worry about these enemies. Uh, we'll quickly run past, go down to uh, Brafalug, and we'll just kill the extra five over there. Is it five? It is five. Kill the extra five over there, because why not? And, uh, you know, I think we've also got a quest there anyway, having a look back at this stuff. So, um, Gladenmere was not... It was Duskenvale, I think. Yeah, defeat ten orcs at Brafalug and the captain. Probably not going to happen, but if we can get a couple of kills towards it, halfway there, then why not? If they become super easy, then maybe we'll try. But I think the captain is where we're going to probably lack uh, the ability to kill. If, you know, we can uh, call Langhar. And that works. I didn't mean to do that. Um, if we can call Langhar over and it will help, then maybe it might be worth it. But I am having a little bit of worry considering how much uh, kind of lag there seems to be. Uh, I did notice um, I was playing on my champion earlier in the day and my champion was kind of struggling. Um, well, not struggling, we were doing perfectly fine. It was more just there was that delay in between using a skill and it actually going off, um, which can just kind of cause issues, especially when you're in... You know, when you're playing champion, you kind of... Um, that was actually a, a, a useful rubber band then, uh, I guess, but... Uh, when you're playing champion, you kind of want to be obviously AOEing, whereas we're, we're trying to do single target more on here. Um, but if you've got like five, five to ten enemies on your back and your skills aren't coming out, that can be a big issue, especially if they're still able to attack you, but you can't attack them. So basically, moral of that story is what I'm trying to say is uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to us because that would be a bit of a worry. I also feel like I need to dismount just to make sure I didn't get rubber banded. Good. And then let's head up here and find where this flower is. Um, how are these orcs? How are they morale-wise? 136k. Okay. Can we be sneaky and get up here? That's why I feel like sometimes I should be a burglar. <laughs> right. So... One of the more annoying things about this is the place we need to get to is a little bit further away. But if I'm clever... Okay, that's two. That's not terrible. I should probably have my uh, Dalman's Crams on for this, honestly. I should have also definitely done that food that I was talking about. If we get very low on damage here, what I am going to do, or very low on morale, is I am going to jump off here, but I think we'll be fine. Um, in fact, let's use Distracting Shot quickly. Let's just get some morale. And take this guy out. Heartseeker M. And then, yeah, we'll check on Delman's Crams, and these guys won't respawn, so we can actually go through without aggroing these guys, hopefully. Oh, let's just make sure we get our morale. Cool. Put our Delman's Crams on. Carefully. And be very careful while coming through here that we don't aggro that warrior. Like I just did. I guess we don't really have to be subtle about it anymore. We could just walk through. It probably would have been easier just to kill this dude first off, but... At least we can kind of, like, walk back and do this whole thing that we normally do. It'll kind of help. I don't know if Swift Bow is going to be worth it. I mean, it's three attacks, so I guess it kind of is all right. We just need more attacks that we can do whilst we're waiting for cooldowns to happen, because obviously Barrage 3 has that, like, very long cooldown of 15 seconds. I say very long. I mean, Blood Arrow is less. Uh, or is more, sorry. Um, we just need those extra skills to use during that time that isn't just like quick shot. Right. We can kind of have a little bit more freedom now coming through here. Other than like the one enemy that's going to come up here. I mean, we have to kill enemies anyway. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I'm going to jump up here, this way. Yes, I'm killing this dude, but I'm not going to aggro that warrior, hopefully. 
Um, that is the plan. I technically shouldn't even be able to hit this guy because the arrow is spray. Right, we got this guy down enough damage that so I'm going to be fine. Um, and we've got to defeat... Actually, no, we don't even have to defeat anymore. So ideally, we could have gotten away without it. But I can't daze him because I haven't got my daze skill. I could use Barb's arrow, I guess, if I really wanted to. But how well that works, I'm not sure. Clearly not very well. Right, cool. Let's just get as close as we need. And get out of here. Now we gotta find. Now we gotta go all the way back up there. Oops. Let's hope we can get out of here before they aggro. So we gotta go all the way back up there. Luckily, we chose this as the last place to do it uh, because it's gonna be a bit annoying. But I ideally would like to get away with not killing anything. Or minimizing the amount of kills I have to do and just sort of running through. But we know how that goes, so probably not a good idea. I don't trust Desperate Flight helping us in any way. Um, let's quickly take that off, and we'll also take this one off. It's annoying because it's going to be one item just stuck in our inventory forever, pretty much. But we might cancel the quest at some point and go from there. Right, now how do I get up there again? I think it's a little further forward. I feel like we're rubber banding, so let's just do that. Or we're still damaged, that'll be why. But we'll probably have to dismount anyway. So, it's so probably starting here, I think. I don't really remember too well. That looks like, is that a cave? That is a cave. The Wardens, or the Warrens of Tunmelon. Um, which I think is basically, yeah, where we need to start looking for our way of getting up. Maybe not. Maybe a little further forward by this area. I don't really remember. It was only last episode, but I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, it was last episode, which would have meant, for me, it was yesterday. Which means I should really remember this, but I don't. I feel like we're too far forward. I'm going to get on my war steed. And we'll just hopefully get there a little bit quicker. I think this might be it. I can kind of see a bit that looks like it may be where we need to go. And I don't have the ghost dude to, like, base my location off, so. Like, Vagary or whatever his name was. Okay, it looks like we may have it. Here we are. So, I wonder if I can sort of run through and... I know I tried this last time, but run through and just not get aggroed by everything. The only annoying thing is, obviously, the aura. If it weren't for the aura, um, we'd probably be able to do this pretty easily. But I think if we just play it a little bit cleverly, we can maybe get through here. Or if we're really, really lucky, there might be someone that's, like, come through here before us, or recently, and they'll... Oh, immediately knocked off our horse. Okay, I'm gonna just come through and be clever about it then. I'm not just gonna rush through. So I'm gonna take this guy out, and then we'll, we'll try and sneak past. I mean, it's technically something we should be doing, because we want to be getting drops for tasks and stuff, but I'm not really too fussed about it. The annoying thing is, like, yeah, we've got this travel thing where we can, you know, travel between, where is it, like, these two, but they can only go between each other, so they're actually pretty useless to us at this current moment in time. Now, you, I'm probably going to have to take out. And you have a quest with you, so maybe... Oh, that's not fun. You're a drowned warrior. Your request for me to kill eight of them. So I'm going to try and get past this Wandering Gloom whilst I'm also attacking you. Because he's over there. I should be alright. You're only level 118. So you're actually four levels below us. So I should actually not be struggling. And I'm not really struggling. It's just more... 
You get a little worried when an enemy's got the red border around them. But I think we're fine. Also when they're like a summoned enemy. Right, let's get on the rocks over here. Because that's probably going to be a better idea. Because then we can just sort of come down by this area. We might as well use this as an excuse to uh, repair our stuff. Oh, that's a thing. I'm going to use my return to campsite for this. Because it was currently an Angmar. Not Angmar, Mordor. I don't know how I mix the two up. I mean, they're kind of similar. <laughs> it's because I'm, again, thinking about the legendary server. And it's like very, you know, Angmar and Amarthiel based right now. But that's going to help us a lot. I said it would be useless uh, without being there. But I can return to camp. That has no cooldown. It's just a 10 second induction. And that's going to take us to the Gladimir. And it's probably going to stay there for a little while. Because I think that's probably worth it. Can I sneak past you? Yes, I can. Can I sneak past you? Probably not, but let's try and be clever about it. Oh, I'm very good at this, apparently. I have a long history of trying to sneak past enemies. Again, I feel like I should be a burglar. It was my first class. My first ever class was a burglar. So, maybe it's just that big of me coming out. But, um, yeah, quite quickly went to a hunter straight after, and that was now my main. And I actually ended up deleting that original character. So my very first character no longer exists. My second character, which is Ennis the Eel, does still exist. Um, but I did remake my burglar with the same name, same class, same everything. It's just I wanted to restart because I took a big break and then didn't really know what I was doing. So I'd rather start from fresh sort of thing. Right, I did what you wanted me to do. Thank you. I'd like to know you have honoured my friends. Um, that they went away a long time ago. The passion of the committed kindness, and they were not. She was first to leave. Okay, so she's telling us out there. You have the trust of Golthava. Perhaps you may help my friend. I will bring you to see my friend. Okay, this is, looks like an instance. We'll see how this goes, and then we'll probably end off the day. I will bring you to my friend, but do not disturb his rest. My soul keeps him at peace. Okay, so she's going to take us to him. I'm not allowed anyone to see my friend for a span of years. Perhaps your visit may be of some comfort to him. Uh, I ensure they do not enter the chamber where my friend is kept. Is it like hidden? I assume it's in... No? Maybe not? But you are different, yes? A cage? No, this is not a cage. What is it then? These bars are for my friend's protection. Okay. I thought it might have been like through here until I saw the other thing. Uh, he has troubled of late, or he has been troubled of late. I hope he'll be able to ease his mind. Well, let's hope. Get look. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. We'll switch from that. Make your way through the torrential passage to the chamber where Golthava keeps her friend, which should be Vagary. A sensation of peaceful slumber fills the grotto. It's a very nice looking place. Just get a few nice shots of it. Um, it's always nice for screenshots. And let's get back into this. So Golthava's friend over here. The shade is reminiscent of Vagary, but possesses none of the wanderer's dread. Who are you? Have you come to let me out? I've been here for a long time. The shade looks around the grotto with evident confusion. I think I meant to leave, but whatever. whenever I set my mind to it, I am overcome by such drowsiness. I should ask Gulfarba about it. My mind is terribly confused. I've had some terrible dreams as of late. So is it like a split thing. Was there a war? I think there was a war. I know that Godfather wishes me, wishes to keep me safe. Whenever I am troubled, she sings a song of slumbering. And I forget. Very creepy sounds happening right now. Where is she? Um, she's just down the tunnel. <laughs> Maybe she'll Come in? I'm not sure. A piercing scream shatters the stillness. Oopsie daisy, what's happening here? Hurry back down the torrential passage and find your father. Luckily it's water so we can swim down and not injure ourselves. 
Uh, visitors unlooked for have come to Kizdal Kala. I spent some time in discussion with Gandalf. He persuaded me to join him. Okay, cool. The keeper of this place sought to bar a passage. I grieve to cause her such pain, but we know that she is sealed. What she is sealed within Kizdal Kala. Darkness is settled upon the lands. Can you speak of it? Um. Yeah, I agree. Lead the way. Okay, it's... I kind of feel weird. She, like, trusted me. Lead Gandalf and the elves. Up here. There's some enchantment upon this grotto. I can feel it. Hmm. She's my friend. She is my only friend. Um, someone you know? We're going to set him free, or what's going to happen? Do you know what this is? Hmm. I don't know who it could be. Oh god. He was in such pain when I found him. Only I can ease his torment. You know what I bear and you know to whom it belonged. What is he holding? It's a nice staff. But I don't know who it is. Maybe I should, but I don't. She's very, um, Marthial, reminding me of her animations and stuff. What do I carry, Shade? Name it and I'll speak your own name. The Scepter of... Your father. I name you Asilda, eldest son of Elendil, once the High King of Arnor and Gondor. Isilda. So that'll be why nobody found him, I guess. Like, it, it's the finally what happened sort of thing. Talks to the, sh the Shade of Asilda. Okay. I see the face of those I knew it was long ago, as war and seemed to war it would never end, and yet it did. At last there was an ending, but peace? No, it did not last, I remember. I remember death, treachery and death. I swam and there was an island on the river. An island. It was a silder. You cannot give him the rest he needs. Okay. You've done me a cruelty. I return in return. I demand this of you: harm him not. If you can bring him peace, I will charge you with the accomplishment of it. As those who seek to do him ill, force of evil servants of the powerful darkness. I brought him here to give him safety to them from them, and I sang my slumbering song so he might find rest. I knew it not last. I wept, but I only wanted to keep him safe. This is all I ever wanted. But where of his foes, course danger, a shade stalks among the petrid 
fetrid pools and dread follows in its train he seeks out my friend i have long kept him away now you've broken my protections you must take up the mantle in his defense if you, sh if you should fail my wrath shall be as the deluge and will wash you away in the torrent okay let's try and find uh this other shade then talks to the shade of a silder shreds of fog still cling to my waking mind the shade of Isilda is is all here. Look at him. Uh, let's go back to Bjorninghus then. So we'll quickly go travel to Holtvis back there. And then uh, see if we've got any tasks to complete as well. And go from there. Well, we'll finish off for the day. So heading into Bjorninghus, one thing as well I found is obviously this quest will give us a new bit of armor. Hopefully that, what, 400 or so vitality is maybe enough to get us up here. Uh, we should be getting four, four morale per vitality, so it should be enough for what we need. Um, I think we have to go into the Bjorninghus first and complete that quest for him. And then hopefully, as I said, it'll give what we need. Much to ponder. This story concludes in further chapters of the Black Book of Mordor. So the depths of Kizdal Kala, which gives us some medallions, some gold marks, and some other stuff. We won't worry about that, but chapter 11.1 will send us out there, but we are going to finish off for the day. Before that, we do have to look at if we've got any tasks to complete, since we did kill some enemies. Nope. Apparently not, but that's fine. We'll go worry about that at some other point. I mean, we could go over and do the Strongholds one. Can we even do that? Um, uh, I don't... It's not worth the travelling for it, really. I'd rather just go and complete some stuff. Uh, do we have... Yeah, Calcified Branches, Dwarf Mage, Sword Shoes, Grey Dust, and Shattered Axes, which is what we were getting a few of, unfortunately cannot be used um, as task items. So I'm actually going to get rid of them, just so I make sure I've not got them. And the other stuff we're just sort of um, here and there about. So... Um, let's also put these new boots on. Uh, let's see if we get to 90k. Uh, almost. Uh, I guess, oh, we're losing that vitality, um, thing. So we're actually only getting, like, 200 vitality. So, if we had that Ithilian essence of, uh, vitality on here, then we probably could. I think I have one, but I'm not going to really worry about it. Um, we'll disenchant that, obviously, and get that all sorted and try and get some higher level of these because really what we want to do is just go over here and get some like uh not relics legacies i think it's some legacies over here not legacies um essences but these are not what i'm thinking of we do need to get these because like 981 vitality um but we're not we need to be allied but 981 vitality compared to whatever we've got on a bow zero but like the max we can get is like 28 so definitely Want to be trying to get those if we can, um, doing some side quests and stuff, and getting those extra things if we can. But we will just quickly get rid of uh, Grey Dust. Oh, I need to come back over here. Grey Dust, Calcified. Oh, I need to get those back. Calcified Branches, wherever they are. Yep. Dwarf Made. Oh, we can get rid of this panel thing as well. Shattered Axes and Dwarf Made thingies wherever they are dwarf main sword chiefs so technically now everything can be used which is good um so i'll still do a bit of clear out because i need to get some new stuff but hopefully okay it doesn't but maybe we can get some new armor with some of these extra quests also again i'm going to be looking for vendors and stuff that can give stuff for that um, most of them will be embers of enchantment still working on that but uh hopefully in the near future but for now that's going to be it for this episode thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.